Hey guys, Cindy here. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited. We're doing something out of the box today and taking you behind the scenes to show you how I run my CEO slash mom slash wife life. I'm going to give you a peek behind the curtain to show you how I run my companies, how I manage my seven figure travel brand and uh, what we have to do from dawn till dusk and also what I do for my family on a day to day basis. I picked our busiest day of the week to kind of showcase all the nuts and bolts and give you a really good idea. And uh, we're going to kick it off today by showing you what I do in the morning. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I don't think it's going to come as any big surprise that my first stop of the day is going to be the coffee machine. Like most of you, I am up early. If you have kids, I don't know if you do it how I do it, but I like to get up before the kids and get a jump start on the day. And it starts at the coffee bar. And I'm looking for the perfect travel mug for today. I like to um, kind of see what I'm feeling. Definitely this one today. Since we're giving you guys a sneak peek of the Wanderlust CEO lifestyle, this one is perfect for what we're showing you today. So usually while uh, the coffee is brewing, I am checking on the puppies, putting them out uh, so they can go potty, which is the first, first thing of the day after we get that coffee started and uh, putting up the uh, blinds to see if we're going to be able to go outside and do my morning routine outside and it looks like great weather. So I'm going to grab a couple of Erin Condren markers. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. If you haven't already uh, seen my planning video, that's here on YouTube too. All right, so we're going to head out to the patio. What a gorgeous day. I wish you guys were here. It is just like a gentle breeze. And if you get out this early, it's not too hot in the morning. And I'm just going to enjoy this coffee and walk you guys through my morning routine. This is our meditation circle. This is the area where as long as it's not raining, this is where I am every single morning starting my day. My little companion Lucy and Mavis is around here somewhere. Uh, join me and we love to have our little uh, time in the morning. And um spend some time with my flowers too. I was never a gardener before COVID, but now that I have flowers blooming, I have to take care of them. So we'll check in on them too. But I'm going to grab my little careers on vacation uh, journal and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go through my morning routine. So to share with you what I do every day, first thing I chart out are some things that I am grateful for. If you start in a place of gratitude every day, it really gets your mindset in the right place. Then I'm going to walk through some affirmations and then I'm also going to write down and kind of chart out some goals that I have for today. Even if I have a busy day like I do today, um, a goal could be, you know, get through the day and balance family and work, you know, have some, some time at the end of the day to reboot. So I like to just take that time every morning to reset. And then once I have that done, I am just enjoying my coffee, enjoying this beautiful breeze. Maybe we'll even give uh, Lucy uh, a little snuggle and checking in on my beautiful flowers. These uh, I got as a uh, little tiny rose bush and now they're blooming like crazy. Our fairy garden's doing well, our violets pride roses, our little Buddha garden. Everything is looking great out here. We're having weird weather lately where it's wet and dry, so I have to watch really closely. But we even have our hibiscus tree back here blooming some hibiscus flowers. So it's looking pretty gorgeous for sure. And if you're following me on Instagram at Wanderlust CEO, you're probably going to see a picture of my coffee mug because this is where I do my coffee mug of the day. I'll share a travel mug and take a picture out here and share it for you guys to see over on Instagram. So I'm going to spend a few more minutes, like every little minute I can get to myself before the kids get up, before all of the crazy sets in. It really just helps me get in that vibration where I'm going to serve my clients at the highest level. And um, this is what every morning starts with for me. If I if I miss my morning routine, I feel it. My day just doesn't go. It just doesn't flow like it normally does. So as I was thinking about this video today, 
This is uh, snapshots of one of our photo shoots and our film crew. I thought about doing a day like this for you guys because it's so glamorous when the, the hair and makeup people are there and the film crew. But then I said, no, you know what? I want to show you what I do every day, the nuts and bolts. So today the film crew is not here. My hair and makeup people aren't here, which they aren't here 90% of the time. I'm going to be showing you what I do every day um, when I'm solo. And so I'm going to be walking you through how I work with my clients, how I work with my team and all those different pieces right down to how I get my kids to karate on time. So, um, you know, just kind of after I spend that time on the meditation um, garden and, and set my do my morning routine, what I'm doing then is I'm heading right back inside because I have to do my own hair and makeup, right? So I'm going to head into the bathroom and that's exactly where we're going to get started. I'm going to pop the blinds open and we're going to get a good face wash and we're going to get uh, started. I'm really good about hair and makeup not taking a ton of time. I, I'm just, I hate wasting time. So I have it down to 10 and 10. And yes, I like to give a concert and sing and all of the things while we're getting ready. I'll drop my Spotify uh, playlist down for you guys below and you can uh, listen to my morning playlist and enjoy it for yourself. But I have my morning uh, routine down where makeup and hair takes me literally 10 and 10. So like 20, maximum 30 minutes in the bathroom. I get a ton of questions about my eyelashes on YouTube, you guys. I really, I use the Roden and Fields Lash Boost um, on a regular basis. I'm obsessed with Marc Jacobs Lash Primer, and then I finish it off with Thrive Cosmetics. I don't do makeup tutorials, but this is the thing I get asked about most, my lashes. So feel free to check out those products. That's exactly what I use every single day. And now we're on to uh, hair. So we're just going to go with straight hair today. It's super easy. It literally, I can whip through and get that done in like 10 minutes and we're ready. And next stop is going to be heading into the closet, which I put my closet together like a chakra or like a rainbow <laughs> because I like to pick my outfits by color. And uh, after I pick my outfit, I'm going to then go to earrings or kind of I do it at the same time, really, because the earrings are the most important. And then sometimes I'll change my shirt three times so it matches the earrings. Most difficult decision of the day. Should I go with this one? Ooh, so pretty. It's like half a mandala. Or do I want to go with this new one that I just got off of Etsy? How cute is this? Yep, we're definitely going with that today. That goes with all of the things. So we'll get our earrings put in here and I'll probably change my shirt three times, but we'll come up with something gorgeous by the end and then we will be off and running. Oh, we got to do one more thing. I like to pick a ring to wear on my right hand every single day. Today I'm really feeling the color red. Just to help me feel grounded in that root chakra if you're into chakras and then we're gonna head upstairs to the studio but before we head upstairs one of the things I like to do is um you know it's a big commute upstairs <laughs> I love working from home because there is no commute but what I like to do is make sure I'm going to be staying hydrated all day I talk from you know the minute like my meetings start be between 9 or 10 a.m and i am talking all day especially on tuesdays i could be talking till six or seven at night so i'm going to grab another travel mug here and i am not going to get another cup of coffee i'm a one cup one cup a day coffee drinker but i will drink water like crazy all day long i love some Lacroix, um so i have that everywhere in my house i have it in the pantry i also have cases of it up in my office so all i have to do is literally get a cup of ice and then i'm in business. And um, I mean, I can go through two or three cups of water when I am training, especially when I'm training two and three hour long mastermind sessions. So we're going to get all hydrated up and get our travel mug picked out. And then I have a couple things I need to gather up to take upstairs so we can have all of the things ready. Of course, I'm looking for my laptop, which is most important. That's kind of the central thing that I need. And then my Erin Condren planning system, have that gathering all of the things and my power cord. I can't tell you how many times I forget my power cord and then I'm running all over. And one last uh, look around before the kids get up, <laughs> which we haven't seen any of the little humans yet. Where are they? 
Let's see. I wonder where they are. Uh oh. Oh, there's the first one. There's my nephew, Dallas. He's super asleep. He's going to feed the dogs now, and I'm heading up to my office. Dallas is always the first uh, one up because he has those morning dog chore. And before we head into the office, I'm setting the thermostat to 72 degrees because I like it to be exactly 72 degrees in my office. It gets so hot up here sometimes because we're in Texas and I have a ton of lights on in here and a ton of windows. So that's kind of job one. And I'm just going to pull a few things, take one more look outside. Oh, so pretty. If I get a few extra minutes uh, before my calls, I'll actually pop out on the balcony and spend that out there. Or if I have uh, some time to check emails, I'll do it from the balcony instead of the office just to get away from the studio lights. I'm already realizing that it is too hot in my office, so I'm going to switch to a t-shirt. And double checking, do I want those earrings or do I want to check my other earring tree? I'm going to stick with what I got. All right, we do have a couple extra minutes right before my calls start. So I'm going to spend it out here on the balcony, check a few emails, and then we will get started on our calls and setting up the studio. So right before my calls start, at least 10 minutes before, you will always find me setting up my studio. Now, I was very fortunate. I worked with a team to put the studio together. And uh, literally, I just have to plug a few cords in. But first, I'm going to get my backdrop lights set up here. These are so fun because you can do different colors. So I'll change them based on what I'm wearing or if we have a different theme. Like you see the grape soda pitcher there. So it's fun to do purple. But whatever I'm talking about on the day or whatever outfit I'm wearing, I can kind of coordinate the lights. Get my ring lights on. You're going to notice I have two ring lights. I used to have one, but I have to wear glasses sometimes um, for close-up reading now. And I get a glare when I'm filming so a little tip for you if you wear glasses get two ring lights and just offset them to the side all right I'm gonna get my laptop set up now get all of the different uh, microphones set up get my USB ports plugged in my microphone set up again I worked with this amazing team that uh, helped us get all of this together so it's been quite a learning experience on YouTube um, to improve our audio and visual and all of the things but they've made it really easy for me I just have to plug in a few cords turn on my lights and I'm pretty much ready to go at a moment's notice so like today we're actually not YouTubing technically today but what we're doing is we're going to be meeting with my experts first and then I'm going to be doing some training calls later all my training calls are recorded so I like to make sure that those are high quality um, as well last thing I want to do before I start my calls is get the ambiance going in the office we run travel brand you guys so of course I'm using mango Mai Tai from Bath and Body Works they have some other amazing travel scents but I love just to have a candle on in the office it makes it smell great gives you those vacation vibes and really reminding us you know we're doing the work now we'll be on vacation soon so and of course our mini slippers to keep our little toes warm I have a few more minutes before my calls start and I have a couple clients I want to write out some notes to so I'm just going to write off a couple notes to them and then we'll get started. It's almost time for my intern to be up uh, and checking in. Look, there she is, my little Bella and my little Corin. And let's check in with Bella, our new intern. Hello. She has a terrible cold, but she still came to work today, so I appreciate you. So um, you said you had some questions for me about today. What you got? Um, I wanted to ask if you could send me, um, you said you're going to send me a mock of the live stream thing. Oh, like a, a raw video yeah, footage? Um, yeah, I can send you something. Okay. No problem. My battery's about to die. We're going to have to charge this up. Can you order uh, something for lunch today yeah. for the boys? Is Good. Is there anything you want in particular? Uh, or just yeah, order me something. Maybe Jason's? Okay. okay. Um, what else do we have going on today? We have all the mastermind calls going on today. I have meetings with all the experts this morning, so I'm going to be booked from 10 all the way to, not actually 9.30 to 6. Today I'll be on calls. And then you guys have karate tonight? What time is that? Um, it's at 7.45. Okay. So actually, should we order dinner instead of lunch, and then the boys can just... I mean, yeah, probably, yeah. That's not cool, right? <clears throat> Dad's leaving right now to go to the corporate offices. Okay. Um... What else? I think that's it. What are you working on for your projects? Um, I'm going to work on the fake thing, and then I'm going to work on the getting ideas for that, um, for the videos. Uh, Practicing sets. videos. Oh, and then doing our sets, because we have a big video shoot next Friday, mm -hmm. and we're running behind on putting that together. So thank goodness I have you working on all the sets 
and all the good stuff. Okay, good. I think that's good. Yeah, I have to ask you uh, if I can still do my internship today. Yeah, absolutely. You just can't. You just have to work in your room instead of my office. No, no, no. no. I mean, um, my. Uh, oh, oh. You're gonna have to check with Daddy because I'm gonna be on mastermind call till at least 5:30. What time do you have to be there? I have to be there by five. I could probably go a little late. Or we'll ask Daddy. I think he'll be home by that time. If not, maybe we can talk to Papa and he can bring you over. Okay. Yeah. This is real life. This is what I wanted them to see because we, people don't realize balancing family life and two businesses is crazy. So thank you for bringing that question. This is the normal stuff we have to work through every day. Love you. All right. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. The next thing I do in my day is we are going to go ahead and check our stats for all of our companies, our key performance indicators. These are the things that we look at across our companies, basically our metrics that decide, uh, that show us, you know, if we may need to make any alterations, if we're meeting our goals, if we're exceeding our goals, if we're behind our goals. So that's something I check every single day, top of the morning for all of our companies, divisions, different areas that we have. And my intern's calling, let's see. Hey babe. You couldn't check? Yeah, the only other place I can think is in my black um, Dooney Disney bag that's in my little purse niche. Okay, thank you. All right, bye. <laughs> we have a missing camera charger. That's never good when you're trying to vlog, right? We just went, we got back from San Antonio and we were vlogging and I can't find one of my chargers. It's driving me insane. Anyway, okay, back to key metrics. So I'm looking and we're doing awesome. Um, going to take a peek at our close rate for the travel agency. I'm going to look at our lead flow, make sure everything's looking good there. Are we closing the leads that we have coming in? Everything's at or above. I mean, that's a good thing, right? Doesn't mean we don't have anything to work on. We have lots to work on, but it means the systems we're using, the processes we have in place, uh, our strategies are working, which is great. Um, this is one of the reasons we train people to do what we do. All right, cool. So I'm all pumped up for our meeting. Stats are looking good. Numbers are looking good. Normally I'm sending off a few emails if I want to look into things today. We don't really need to look into anything except for send a big celebration email. But um, one of the things I wanted to share real quick before I go into my meeting is one of the reasons I run can run my days with ease and not feeling too stressed is I prep for all of my meetings for the week on Monday. So on Monday, I look at what meetings I have on my schedule. I'm prepared for those meetings. I have all of the questions in place. And this morning I'm meeting with every single one of my experts back to back to back. I like to do that once a month. We do a one-on-one -on -one and then every, uh, uh, also in the month we bring them together as a team to talk about if there's synergies or things we can be doing better. And uh, after that, after I meet with all of my experts and see how our initiatives are working across the board for the things they're working on and new things we have coming up that we're working on for y'all, then I'm going to do my masterminds. This is my, Tuesday is my favorite day of the week, which is why I wanted to film a day in the life on Tuesday. Um, I have three mastermind calls that happen today. So I will meet first with my Wanderlust CEOs who are my agency owners that are building and scaling top performing teams. Their meeting will be uh, around noon. And then right after that, we'll have our careers on vacation newbies, right? Those ones who are kind of in the first half of our program. And then I'll have another careers on vacation mastermind call for people who are a little more advanced in the program. So that will be my day. And that will take me all the way from 930 in the morning till probably 530, six o'clock at night. Then we'll be off to karate for the kids. So let's do this. All right, first up, I'm meeting with our amazing mindset expert, Brandon. Brandon works in all of my programs to help our clients really get to the next level, address mindset concerns, work them past their blocks and past their plateaus. He's going to give me some updates on uh, both some things he's working on and how the clients are doing. So great high vibe way to start the day. All right, next up we have marketing, funnels, copy, the blog, the website, updates, lead caps, all the good stuff. Probably my favorite thing to talk about, so let's dive in. All right, now we're gonna meet with my amazing expert, Lindley. I realize I'm freezing, so we do an on-camera wardrobe change. <laughs> we have two, a two-pronged approach for what I want to accomplish with this conference. One is the obvious, right? Like we support travel entrepreneurs and growth. 
So that's the obvious one. But the other one is the uh, showcase on our blog or on our Roku show or on our podcast. Of the actual funnel, because we may have, you know, multiple emails that will, will really kick off the funnel. I'm letting Heather in again, just real quick. Okay. Heather, you're so, you're an out 45 minutes early. I love you so I much. Literally just realized this. I was like, why can't I get into this call? Wait, but you know what the best part is? I'm literally recording this right now for a day in the life of Cindy video. So now my 15,000 YouTube followers are going to be like, so everybody shout out to Heather at Sunkiss Travel. She's freaking amazing. We love her. She's in my water plus CEO program. And she's so dedicated. She shows up 45 minutes early. All right. I love you, girl. I'll see you in 45 minutes. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Bye. Okay. I have like 10 minutes in between this, my last call and the one coming up. And again, I can't stress like prepping for your meetings because then your thoughts are organized. You can jump in, you can get to the details. If you have professionals that are working for you, if you guys are growing teams or you work for experts, um, you know, just having that stuff dialed in makes your day so much more efficient. So I have 10 minutes in between. I don't like waste that time in between. I'm actually literally what I'm doing. Hang on. I'm totally going to share my screen right now. Hang on. So what I'm doing in between my calls is I'm going to go ahead and start popping in all these videos we're making today. No, I do have uh, someone, I have a couple people that help me with editing, but on a video like this where it's like following my day to day, that's like a very like personal video. So I feel like I'm going to edit this one myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in a couple of the videos um, that we made already today. So I'm just going to drag these in as we go in between my meetings. That way when I get to editing this uh, later in the week and prepping it for you guys, um, it will kind of be put together for everything. So, so I'm making your day in the life video that you... <laughs> So I'm just doing little snippets of like everything I'm doing today. When it comes to a YouTube video, especially in your niche with the traction you have, I, I feel like that one is going to crush it. Hey okay, guys. Well, I wish I was one of those influencers that was like, oh, I'm having like Brussels sprouts and quinoa and a vegan lunch. No, that's not me. Um, I mean, we have, a, this is my busiest day of the week. So admittedly, it's crazy. I'm just going to have ruffles. <laughs> an apple. I am not a health coach. Okay. Let's be clear. Uh, it's not the best, but we are going to have a nice healthy dinner. So that's going to be good. I'm going to continue on my day, getting ready to meet with our Wanderlust CEOs. So got the studio set up. We are ready to do some training, putting my training hat on. Let's get it. All right. We're getting ready to start our mastermind, first mastermind call of the day. We'll hit our training button and start our show. Five minutes till class begins. Give a little wave to some of our mastermind clients. Hey guys. Okay, what you just saw was our Wanderlust CEO mastermind. So I just wrapped up that call, put a couple updates in the group, resources and things we talked about on the call, Ooh, our new certification badge that they get to use, which is super cool. Um, some video training, all kinds of goodies. We have 40 uh, ish people in that one, but now we're getting ready for the big mastermind uh, is up next, our cruise on vacation. Um, this is a program that a lot of you guys I know have heard about. It's our most popular program and uh, it's designed for both new and experienced agents depending on which learning track they're on. I'm really excited and this is my favorite part of the week because I get to really interact and interface and work uh, with all of my clients. So I'm excited to see how they've been doing. We had the 4th of July holiday is when we're filming this on July 7th. I know you guys are not seeing it till the end of the month, but um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. So I have about 30 minutes until that call starts. So I'm gonna go jump outside and just get a little connection with the outside energy. We've had some rain and take a quick little um, break, give my eyes a break from the screen and then we'll get started. Cause once I'm on that call, um, it literally goes from 2.30 to, it can go till six. I've even had it go till seven o'clock at night. It's nice to just like give my eyes a break in between calls, which is good. What's our little meditation circle? Remember that's where we were this morning doing our goals, our morning routine, setting the tone for the day.
Okay, let's check in with the kids and see if dinner's on the way. <laughs> we have something happening in that department. I'll check with the intern. Bella! Bella! Hey! Hi. <laughs> Why does your hair look so crazy? I was laying on my bed. Um, did you order dinner for the boys? No, I didn't. Are you going to do that now? Sure. I need, I, mean, I need your phone, so. Well, you should do it now because i got to jump on my next call. Okay. It's not with me. It's in my desk. Okay. You want to come with me to my office? <laughs> sure. Corin! Do you guys recognize the mom yell? Yeah? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> come give Aunt Cindy a hug. Hi. Look at this little cutie. This is my youngest. Isn't they cute? You want to say hi to YouTube? Hi. Corin! Yeah? Oh, what are you doing? Come here. You don't want to be on YouTube? No. Okay, let me just see your hand so I can see your hand. You don't have to be on YouTube. Can I just see your hand? I Give you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Bella's going to order um, dinner for you guys, okay? That was nice. Okay, so I have a few minutes before my call starts. I have a couple of new um, agreements to sign for our new students who are starting, who signed up today. So that's super exciting. We'll have to write out some more... Um, welcome cards right so yeah i'm just gonna sign that real quick get those signed off on all in the life i also checked in with the kids and uh, they're doing good we have dinner ordered and um my husband who's doing payroll and waiting on uh pipes to get fixed over at our uh, cruise on vacation headquarters um is running behind so we have all that going on behind the scenes um, yeah, just another day in the life of CEOing and parenting and adulting, right? Um, so yep. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to sign this and I don't mean to be distracted, but I'm trying to literally video record my day as the chaos continues. So I wanted you guys to see one of the busy days. and <laughs> We definitely picked a good one. All right, I'm going to sign this and then we're going to head over to our COV Mastermind call. So exciting. Okay, it is showtime. Time for the big call of the day. I'm going to get my studio software set up here and my training, my camera turned on, and my training program set up. This is my favorite class. Love it. All my masterminds are my favorite class, but so fun. So what we like to do is we do a little countdown before training. Um, just gets time, gives people time to kind of connect and get in the room ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Zoom a few minutes early so the class can get in and settled. And then we'll get started. Class will start pretty soon. So exciting. Hey guys, everyone have a happy 4th of July, I hope. Couple uh, announcements I will have for the beginning of our call. Whew, okay, it is 5.45 and we are wrapping up for the day. We just had our second cruise on vacation mastermind call. Oh, I love it. It's so much energy. It's like talking. My voice is like, ah, uh, literally talking from noon till almost six. But I just love it because it's just you know, helping people grow their travel business, which is fun. So now, um, next thing I do, you'd think, oh, I'm done for the day, which kind of I am done with interfacing, but um, I'm do a little bit of wrap up work here. And then I have to, um, I think Bella ordered, uh, our fantastic intern ordered me some lunch or dinner at this point downstairs. And then we gotta take the boys to Taekwondo. So that's what we're off to next on my CEO day. So glamorous, right? <laughs> I know you just can't stand all the glamour happening uh, in this fun stuff. All right, let's continue on. Shutting down the office for the evening. Okay, let's go see. It looks like I got a text from Corin that he's not feeling good. So we're gonna go check on our little buddy and see what's happening. He doesn't like to be on camera, so we'll see how he's feeling. Maybe we won't have Taekwondo tonight. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to carry all these things. <laughs> oh my god. I was looking for where my phone was. Check out my saucy intern. Look at those. Look at that sweet. Look at that sweet setup. 
She just slid the phone under the door. I mean, I told you guys, the life of a CEO, seven-figure CEOs, it's just fantastic. <laughs> I mean, the comedy around here comes for free. What's going on? It feels like I did at Disney. You feel like you're not feeling good? Mm. All right, we'll take your temperature. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, you got some time to talk about what the plumbers think the problem is. Uh, yes, and I also wanted to let you know Corn's not feeling good, so I don't think he can go to karate tonight. Okay, well, I'm stuck here. I can't get away because they're doing stuff. Okay, so we have a water leak somewhere in our new uh, building that we've purchased. So yeah, you know, CEO problems. <laughs> but we uh, we had moved in some boxes, some careers on vacation boxes for our gold digger resort, our gold digger uh, retreats that we do. And I noticed one of the boxes was wet on moving day because we'd moved some stuff in a few days ahead of time. <coughs> which is where this started and that turned into the carpet being wet so we had to rip the carpet out and now we're trying to work with some folks to figure out where the sleek is coming from so you know just a, another little thing going on today so all right i'm gonna eat my salad and then we're gonna go to karate come say hello i think you're gonna be the only one going to karate today i'm about to bed get in there on your tiptoes <laughs> so dallas is gonna go to karate uh, Corinne's not feeling good. Bella is um, a brown belt. You don't want to mess with her. On top of being an intern, she helps out at the karate studio. So, um, you have a little bit of time, but no, don't try to steal all my lemonade. Nice try. You already had one, didn't you? Let's see. Okay, so, uh, all right, I'm gonna eat my salad and then we will be on to the next thing. a little dinner on the patio before we head off to karate. Salad looks so good. I'm starving. Enjoy our pretty flowers out here. A little herb garden. Oh, I'll show you guys my little garden I have going back here. Oh my gosh. My roses went crazy with blooming. I just trimmed them. They literally had two roses over the weekend. <laughs> They're all blooming. But see our big garden boxes? I have all kinds of fun stuff planted in there. Oh, okay, good salad, I have to say. I'm gonna check in with a few emails and texts, check my client support group, um, see if anyone has any questions. We trained over 100 people today. Whew, crazy. We just paused to appreciate my sweet gardening skills <laughs> you guys I'm so happy with my garden this year all of the things are happening we love it let's get in here and start all the mom stuff Lucy I love you I love you I love you so one of the things we try to teach the kids especially during summertime is to help do their own laundry and I'm proud of Dallas today because he washed and dried his karate clothes, so three minutes and we'll be in business. All right, so I'm gonna jump in here and get a quick workout in between uh, all the stuff we did today. So I'm gonna jump on the Peloton, do like quick 10 miles. Just kidding, I'm totally not gonna do that. <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, y'all. Oh my goodness. Whew, I'm tired just thinking about that. Okay, we do the best we can. Today it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna, not gonna make it to the gym today. <laughs> I hear you crawling. <laughs> You're so sus. Okay, get ready, you goofball. Thought I lost my keys, but someone just moved them. Okay, let's go. Uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. All in a day. 
guys see how cute my new front porch setup is. Okay, Dallas is waiting patiently. Dallas found a rainbow, you guys. Can you see it? Do you see it? Can you see it on the camera? I got a shark and double rainbow. Now we found a double rainbow. Oh my gosh, there's magic everywhere if you look. This is my favorite part of the day. I love you, Dallas. I love you. I love you, have a good time in karate. I love you, baby. Having a little rainstorm. I guess those rainbows brought some rain. Can wait for karate class to get out, pick up Bella and Dallas and head home. In the meantime, we'll get some work done in the rain. Hey guys, thank you so much for following along today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I know it was a super busy day today. Not all days are like this, uh, but I hope you got a great peek about what it takes behind the scenes to really run a crazy big travel brand. And I hope it gave you some insight on how to balance work and life. I know that's always a big, big challenge, but enjoying the sunset here at the end of the day. And I hope you are enjoying it wherever you are. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.